On this trip around the county, we go behind the scenes to meet the leads of NHS's fall musical and take a trip to an old favorite, Homecoming. All this and more on this trip around the county. Welcome to Around the County, I'm Brooke. And I'm Avery. On Around the County, we take you to places you've, you may have never been and introduce you to people you may not know. NHS boasts an awesome theater program. Producers Blake Langley and Brianna Taze introduce you to the leads of the school's most recent production and why they are part of the theater program. Anna was um, so easy to like interact with on stage and our voices just kind of blended together like so easily um, and yeah she's the sweetest I love her <laughs> oh my gosh so fun he's amazing and so sweet and so talented it was a great experience and I guess honestly High School Musical like was the movie I saw that I was like oh I want to do that and yeah so it's kind of like a full circle moment but um, yeah I started theater when I was um, I think like kindergarten, but like my first actual musical I was in, I was in fourth grade. So, and I've just been doing it ever since. As far as like leads go, uh, sophomore year I had a very, very minor kind of, it's called a supporting role. I was just, um, I played the Enchantress in Beating the Beast. It wasn't anything huge, but that was a little bit of an introduction, but this was the first big thing. And so it was, it was so fun. Um, I don't know. I've honestly been like singing and dancing ever since I came out of the womb. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, it's just always been a part of who I am. It was like kind of surreal because I just am not athletic. <laughs> I, do, I like do theater. I would say I'm more like Ryan in the show. Yeah, it was, it was such an honor to be playing Troy because he's like, I don't know, who doesn't want to be Troy? <laughs> and so High School Musical was to bring anybody and everyone who wanted to come out on stage, and it kind of reflected all different types of students and shows that no matter what, we're together. So I, I really appreciated that and the message he was trying to get across. Homecoming is something that just about everyone in Noblesville enjoys. Producer Brooke Goff takes a deeper dive into the traditions of homecoming and what being a Miller truly means. Years, homecoming has been a big part of the Noblesville community. It sort of disappeared for the last couple of years due to COVID, but this year it's back, and it's one of the things that shows what it truly means to be a Miller. Because as a Miller, you're part of the whole Noblesville Schools community and we're all Millers. So if you're a Miller, you support your friends, you support the school, you support uh, the teammates, if you're on a team, or you support everyone no matter what. Coming in Noblesville is more than just the parade, games, and dance. It's coming together as a community and supporting one another. People not only participate in homecoming to support one another, but also to take part in the fun. The Mini Olympics is a chance for all NHS students to not only support their graduating class, but also for each class to compete with one another. Homecoming brings everyone in Noblesville together to support not only the students, but also everyone in the area. To be a Miller is kind of being an underdog. We're, we're in a part of the state where almost everyone we play is a state contender and we're expected to lose. But sometimes we end up defying the odds and winning. The parade is where all of Noblesville is together in one area of the town to cheer on people and students within the community. The famous football game is where the real Miller spirit comes out. We dress in black and gold and scream to our heart's content. Um, to be a Miller is to be part of our student body and 
That's all for this episode of Around the County. I'm Brooke. And I'm Avery. Join us next time for another trip around the county. county.